Now, as I said concerning faith, that it was not a perfect knowledge, even so it is with my words. You cannot know of their certainty at first, to perfection, any more than faith is a perfect knowledge. But you see, if you will awake, and arouse your faculties, even to an experiment, upon my words, and exercise a particle of faith, yet, even if you can no more than desire to believe, let this desire work in you, even until you believe in a manner that you can give place for a portion of my words. Now, we will compare the word to a seed. Now, if you give place, that a seed may be planted in your heart, you see, if it is a true seed, or a good seed, if you do not cast it out by your own belief, that you will resist the Spirit of the Lord, you see, it will begin to swell within your breasts. And when you feel these swelling motions, you will begin to say within yourselves, It must of a necessity be that this is a good seed, or that the word is good, for it begins to enlarge my soul. Yes, it begins to enlighten my understanding. Yes, it begins to be delicious to me. Now observe, would this not increase your faith? I say to you, yes. Nevertheless it has not grown up to a perfect knowledge. But observe, as the seed swells, and sprouts, and begins to grow, then you must of a necessity say that the seed is good. For you see it swells, and sprouts, and begins to grow. And now, you see, won't this strengthen your faith? Yes, it will, strengthen your faith, for you will say, I know, that this is a good seed. For you see it sprouts and begins to grow. And now, look. Are you sure that this is a good seed? I say to you, yes. For every seed brings forth towards its own likeness. Therefore, if a seed grows it is good, but if it does not grow, you see it is not good, therefore it is cast away. And now, you see, because you have tried the experiment, and planted the seed, and it swells and sprouts, and begins to grow, you must of a necessity know that the seed is good. And now, observe. Is your knowledge perfect? Yes. Your knowledge is perfect in that thing, and your faith is dormant. And this because you know, for you know that the word has swelled your souls, and you also know that it has sprouted up, that your understanding begins to be enlightened, and your mind begins to expand. Oh, then, isn't this real? I say to you, yes, because it is light. And whatever is light, is good, because it is discernible, therefore you must know that it is good. And now observe, after you have tasted this light, is your knowledge perfect? I say to you, no. Neither must you lay aside your faith, for you have only exercised your faith to plant the seed that you might try the experiment to know if the seed was good. And you see, as the tree begins to grow, you will say, let us nourish it with great care, that it may get root, that it may grow up, and bring forth fruit to us. And now you see, if you nourish it with much care, it will get root, and grow up, and bring forth fruit. But if you neglect the tree, and take no thought for its nourishment, you see it will not get any root. And when the heat of the sun comes and scorches it, because it has no root it withers away, and you pluck it up and cast it out. Now, this is not because the seed was not good, neither is it because its fruit would not be desirable. But it is because your ground is barren, and you will not nourish the tree, therefore you cannot have its fruit. And thus, if you will not nourish the word, looking forward, with an eye of faith to its fruit, you can never pluck of the fruit of the tree of life. But if you will nourish the word, yet, yeah, nourish the tree as it begins to grow, by your faith with great diligence, and with patience, looking forward, to its fruit, it shall take root. And you see it shall be a tree springing up to everlasting life. 
and because of your diligence and your faith and your patience with the word in nourishing it, that it may take root in you. You see, in the course of time you shall pluck its root, which is most precious, which is sweet above all that is sweet, and which is white above all that is white, yeah, and pure above all that is pure. And you shall feast upon this fruit even until you are filled, but you do not hunger, neither shall you thirst. Then, my brothers, you shall reap the rewards of your faith, and your diligence, and patience, and long-suffering.